In the previous videos, we have discussed the logic behind wave function collapse algorithm. Now we need to discuss how to preset a Unity project to start coding. You can download a base project from our GitHub repository. The link will be in the description. I have created a new project with 2D preset in Unity 2019.2. Remember that you need to have timeup package installed. If you don't have timeup package yet, you will need to go to the window, to package manager, and type, type tile. You will see 2D timeup editor, and you have to click install. Next, we will need to get some tile sprites that we will be using. I have installed a Kenny Assets tiles, uh, tiles uh, sprites from the medieval package and they will be available for you in your preset the last step is to prepare the tile map make sure you have tile palette window opened if you don't you need to go to a window and 2d and tile palette and you will have this window pop up i have docked it here now to create a new palette if you are starting a new project is to create a new palette save it I have a tile palette folder here and then simply drag your sprites into our tile palette window and also save them in a separate folder and now we have our tile palette preset now we need ourselves an input tile map we will create a square of three by three tiles to create a tile map you need to left click Select 2D objects and tile map. And we will have our new tile map. Let's rename it as input. Okay, and let's choose tile map, tile palette window. Let's choose a tile and let's create a 3x3 three three image. Now you can see the tile doesn't fit. This means we have to tweak pixel per unit value and we need to tweak it to be the same size as the size of our tiles so we change it to 64 apply and now we have our tiles looking good to visualize how the wave function collapse works we should have some structure that is continuous like a road but you can create whatever you like to have here in this uh, input tile map okay that's done now, because we want to read those tiles into a grid and uh, map it to integer values, we need to have some rules for input reading. And this isn't uh, related uh, to wave function clubs, but to the input reading module. And, and we will not accept tile maps that are not represented by a rectangular uh, image. Uh, this meaning that we will not accept a tile map that has a hole in it or that has an outlier that doesn't fit the rectangular area you can have a different implementation depending on for what you use our wave function collapse algorithm this is just the part that we need to implement in our case in the next video we will start developing input reader part of our algorithm